Hey, John, before you, before you start tying okay. that, uh, can you At that, uh, explain uh, that? Uh, this next fly is called a shop vac. Now, this has been around, I think, for, I don't know, seven, eight, ten years. I don't know. Um, I, I um, Matthew's had, uh, I guess, he originated or somebody in his shop originated. And anyway, when I, we were going to the Missouri a few years ago, um, I was looking up flies to tie, and it just ha I went through his video, and he happened to have this fly, and it's, you know, it's super easy. There's only a few parts to it, and they said that the reason why it has its name is because, I guess, when they went through a hole, they vacuumed all the fish out of it with this fly, and I think they used this as a dropper, and basically it's a simplified um, pheasant tail. Um, there are some variations. Some, some of them, the, uh, the, uh, they only put the, 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 the peacock, the, um, the ribbing, and <clears throat> the antron shuck on it, and then they finish the fly off. Um, then this, uh, others, they put a, a couple uh, turns of uh, a peacock curl. Um, and then this other guy is using um, chartreuse ribbing rather than the, the <coughs> copper, common copper ribbing. Um, like, like uh, normal pheasant tail has. I've been using the, 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 the chartreuse ribbing just because I can see it. <laughs> and I, I, I don't know if it, if it makes a difference or not, but, but um, when we used to bass fish a lot, that was the favorite color was, or one of the favorite colors was chartreuse. And the, the theory behind that was supposedly chartreuse was a color that fish see better than, <coughs> than other colors. And I don't know if that's, you know, that's true. It may be the same theory as UV and UV2 is that fish see that, that maybe not as a color, but they see it better. And if it, you see it better, then you might, they might be apt to strike that part. So, but anyway, I, I usually tie this, I'm tie, this is a, a 12, but normally I tie it in 18s and 20s and 22s as a, as a dropper. And um, I've been using it for yeah, since we went to Montana, and I've been using it fairly consistently, and, and it, it seems to work, at least for me. Maybe it's you have confidence in it, and you, and you keep using it, so you keep catching fish with it. So the, 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 one, the, the flashback that I tied, I just started using these, and they, they did this as well. So I mean, it seems it, it works. It works, you know, it's been working, so you know, you kind of keep using it. But it's an easy tie. And you can tie a bunch of them. You can tie them in different. I've tied them in uh, olive uh, pheasant tail, um, you know, the UV2 pheasant tail. So, you know, it's, it, because it's so easy, you can tie a dozen real fast. You can tie them in a number of different colors, a number of different sizes. So, it, it, you know, you can use it as a midge probably. All right. So the first thing you do is, um, and I, I got this chartreuse wire, but also I have copper. Um, you tie in your, your wire. Dang. Want to use this for a while? Nah, that's okay. I'll just squint. I swear to see it. Yeah, it's nah. Sure. No, it's more glare. Oh. <laughs> I just grab four or five fibers of the pheasant tail. And trim it off. Tie it in. You tie it by the tip or by the butt? I tie them by the tip. No, I, you could probably tie them by the butt too, but I mean, I, mean, I would <coughs> normally tie it in by the tips. Damn. Forward. So much easier at home. Well, I have a light, and I. Yeah. Looks good on screen. Does it? <laughs> yeah, it films well. Now, this. Uh, same thing. I, I sometimes. I mean, I got all these these scud hooks that 
I think we got them from at the show. Cheap. But they're, it's, they're 12s. I don't think I ever tie on a 12, but you can still use it. I, I, I'll tie it short, but the only thing that you don't get is you don't get, you don't get the, the tie to the, to the curve. I don't know if that makes, makes a difference or not. But after you t I tie it up to the, up to the bead eye, and then I, I wind the wire forward. I usually take one wrap behind the pheasant tail, and then I wind counterclockwise. You can cut it off. I usually just kind of wiggle it off. I use white antron. Yeah, I think you could use the gold color antron or whatever for the for the shuck. But this is what I've done is I've cut a, an inch off and then I I I halved it. And I think you, for smaller hooks you don't even need that much. This is, and then I kind of. I twist it a little bit so it doesn't it doesn't go it doesn't go loose, and then wrap it behind the thread or overlap behind the thread, and then just suck it in. Now, some some of the ones I've seen, the pattern goes and they 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 tie it off right here and they and they trim off the the shuck, but. Um, I'm gonna. I'm gonna use some peacock, partly because when I screw up the shuck and it doesn't look good, the, you tie in the peacock and it makes it look like you actually did it right. Just in case somebody checks your fly box, huh? Eh, no one's gonna check. It just makes me feel better. And then I take two, maybe one, two, three, depends on, I just kind of look at it, see what it looks like. You tie the peacock in by the tip? I t I'm sorry, yeah, I tie the peacock in by the tip. Now, for you that want to glue it, what I've been doing with the peacock is, Putting my cement on the on the thread so I don't. No, no. It it should it should once you get it behind there and you and you and you and you pull the, the your thread down, it should the that whole end or the where where it wraps you wrap it around the thread should suck back down into your your uh, your gap in the in the in the bead. Okay, I didn't put it close enough to the bead. That's the reason why I I just I tie. Forward on everything, all the way to the to the to the bead, because you got that big gap in the in the in the back sure. of the bead, and it should suck it all back down. <laughs> 